Hi there, this is Ranjit from Take2Bass.com and I have this Xperia M Android phone which is a mid-range Android phone by Sony and we're going to do the benchmarking for this Xperia M and first let me open the CPU Z application and let me show you the configuration as you can see it comes with a Snapdragon S4 uh, processor that's a dual core processor and the clock frequency is 1 GHz but CPU Z says that's 972 megahertz and the lowest it can go is 384 and the highest is 972 and it's based on the 28 nanometer architecture and the GPU on this is a Adreno 305 if you go to the system uh, the board is let me zoom in a little bit it's the MSM8227 and as you can see the RAM available is 1 GB and the internal storage actually is a bit less uh, out of that 4 GB after, uh, after a factory reset you just get about 1.5 GB of storage so that's the only con that I have with this phone uh, the specs are very uh, good for the price it commands it's sending in India just for around 12,500 to 13,000 rupees and uh, now let me show you the Nina Mark score it's not relevant but let me just show you the scores Actually, uh, it says that we got a score of 64 FPS, but that's wrong because the max is 60 FPS. So again, very good scores for Ninama. And let me also show you the quadrant scores. I ran it earlier. And before that, let me also show you the system information. And as you can see, it's a dual core processor. And again, the, the quadrant also says that the maximum frequency that it can go is 972 megahertz. And the, it has an Adreno 305 GPU and these are the sensors that Sony has put in this one. Now let me show you the quadrant scores and these are the quadrant scores and as you can see our device got a score of 4337 which is actually a very good uh, score considering the budget oriented price of this device. And let me give you a breakup. The total is 4337. Out of that the CPU got a score of 7298. Memory is 6623, IO is 4711, and 2D is 926, and 3D graphics is 2129. So very decent and impressive scores uh, in Quadrant, considering the budget-oriented price of this phone. I also ran the Antutu benchmark, and let me show you the scores now. And as you can see, again, very impressive score. We got a score of 10,008, uh, which is actually pretty impressive, again, considering the budget-oriented price of this device. So these are the scores for the Antu 2. And I also actually ran the Geekbench. And uh, let me show you the scores now. And as you can see in Geekbench we get a score of 930. And again it runs on the Android version 4.1.2. And the model name specifically for this one is the Sony C1904. This is the single SIM version. So let us get out of this one also. And uh, let me also show you the Epic Citadel score that we got. Uh, this again tests the GPU performance of the phone which is important for gaming. I've actually already done a gaming review with this phone with casual games. I'll also try to do another gaming review with some heavy games. And this Apex Digital uh, does take quite a while to run its benchmark. So let me just quickly show you the scores now. And as you can see in Apex Digital we got a score of 54.8 FPS which is again a very decent score. So again, very decent uh, scores. Uh, again, as I said, I'd also try uh, doing some gaming with heavy games. Uh, the only con, as I told you, is in the storage department with this phone. Out of that 4 GB, uh, you just get about 1.5 GB. And as you can see, the available internal storage that we have right now is just 1.1 GB. And this is with, I haven't installed a lot of apps. I just installed these benchmarking apps. So again, that's it for now for this benchmarking for the Sony Xperia M. I'll be making a lot more videos on this Xperia M. So if you aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe to the same. Thank you. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.